if they have a closer look, you know, into the team, how it works, uh, people only think, yeah, they're riding bikes and that's it. They race on the weekend and they travel home and, and then they're back at the, their place with their families and stuff. But an ingredient to performance is to have a good team around, you know, and to have, especially to have a good time. And uh, the people which we have on board, you know, uh, they are great people and I really enjoy uh, working with them. And uh, I think that's also one of the key points why we so successful and why we the uh, successful team in 2019. So first World Cup this year was in uh, Alpstadt. That was actually one of the goals I had, you know, to perform on a really high level in front of my home crowd. Lots of people joining, uh, coming today for cheering, family, friends and everything, you know. So it's quite special to me because it's a home World Cup, so. TV ride, lap with KG, uh, some media stuff to do. But yeah, this is pretty much like uh, how World Cup rolls. I remember all these places, but I remember more the people I met on, all, on, on our journey, you know. And it's not just always the team around us, also some, some random people popping in and stuff. And I think this is a great experience and it's just nice to do, you know. Once you travel, you meet so many people and even after many, many years, you see them again. Sometimes they're popping up and you know that they're still inside, they're still uh, in the kind of the race environment or just pop in, you know, to uh, uh, just see us or visit us or cheer for us. And it's just really nice experience to travel the world and to meet so many uh, good people uh, on the site. Throughout the year we're traveling so many uh, cities and different countries. Uh, I mean we are nearly 180 to 200 days uh, a year on the road. Uh, every, every time uh, we have also really good moments um, just because we are traveling around the world we discover new places uh, so uh, definitely it's really it's really nice uh, experience to to be in this crazy circus all the year vive la france vive la baguette really cool. looking forward to ride here Ooh, I lost the croissant You start as a couple and then you get bigger, you get kids, you know, and then the nanny pops in or whatever. It's similar to our team, you know. Sooner or later the team grows and it just shows that we are doing well, you know, and uh, I'm just love to have so many uh, people around, uh, either if it's athletes, riders or staff members or media guys, you know. Um, it just it's just great to get back on like every time when we get back to the paddocks you know there's always something happening you have always great chats with like i said different athletes media guys or friends or whatever it is you know and from my side i just love how we how we grow uh, and uh, how the vibe kind of uh, got even better in a way you know i believe that the place is made um mainly from what you live in on the place and uh, who is around you. So I had great moments um, all over the season. I think I had rough moments all over the season. And uh, what I what I take as the most positive thing uh, is the people who were around me. It's quite crazy to me when I go around and. I, I always like hear people shouting my name. There is always like someone pointing a camera to me, uh, and it's increasing, no matter where where I am in the world. Uh, so it, it's quite interesting in a way, and uh, I enjoy that. So I'm a guy that I can guarantee to everyone, you know, that I'm 100% the same person, you know, if I have a camera around me or not. And that's why I can have like uh, around 200 days a year uh, with guys filming my life. I never saw myself as a, as a highly talented guy. Uh, and I knew and I still know 
that I can compare myself to like the, the big talents of this sport. But I do believe, and I showed that on track, that I can race them. Enrique is uh, always uh, strong all the season uh, because he is a big engine, a big machine, a big talent. Uh, he, he has the, the energy to, to deal with, uh, with it all the season, so he's impressive. Because if you have the consistency, then you can, you can definitely play for the top spot. It's easy to just judge on results, but I think it's so much more important to see the whole athlete and uh, also for, I think, for, for the sport, you know, if you have, like I said, like a good character uh, in the sport, you know, it's more helpful than just uh, a guy who delivers results. In Ave's case, it's both, you know, you have a guy who delivers the results and who is such a great character and a good ambassador for our mountain bike sport. When you look from the outside, He's one of the most complete riders in the circuit. Um, before I knew him, before he was my teammate, uh, I would say he was one of the most talented guys. And uh, after I met him, I could see how much he developed um, his talent. So I think he has some talent on every area and he just developed every area to the max. Max is for me like a perfectionist in everything what he does, you know. It starts with his bike, with his training, with his uh, nutrition. He is so into details and he's so, um, like, he has really a good knowledge about what he needs to perform on a really high level. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm a bit jealous because he's, uh, he's just so like a nerd, you know, going into details and stuff and it's just interesting to talk with him when it comes down to talks. We have some, some nice talks also, you know, like sometimes when we sit all together at the table and then, you know, for me sometimes I say, oh no, no, this is like this and this and then he comes in with some proper details, information and for me, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm just blown away, you know, I say, oh, right, <laughs> someone knows what he's talking about and I think that's one of the things also why he's that, uh, that good. Flat out, no question. Inside the team, I think we are we are like a, a good mix. When I when I look to money, for example, you know, he's a guy that uh, no matter how things are going bad, he still kind of waits for the moment or he builds the moment, and he believes that he's gonna come around, you know, and then he delivers. He's a guy that you know tomorrow he can show up and win a World Cup, uh, and this uh, it's kind of an inspiration to me. This is like. Something where Abe, for example, you know, Abe, back in the, when he joined our team, Abe was, Abe was a good rider. He was a top 30, top 40 rider, you know, in the World Cup. 
but you know he was always missing something but he trained so hard you know he trained even harder before than now everything got less you know in terms of training volume it's just more specific now more quality and he reduces training but the outcome is way better now because i mean and the thing is you know sometimes when you win a race you come back to the finish line you say this this was easy I'm gonna do it again next week and then suddenly something changes and next week you come just top 15 and then you think what was the difference and in terms of training you know it's not that this is where I mean preparing for the race this is the this is the mo most difficult part but then you know like being at the start getting to the start line and, and doing everything right this is the most important thing you know because everyone says oh once you're at the start line then you need to switch on and put into race mode but it starts already two three weeks before and this is where you dial in and then you come finally to the start line and then you realize, all right, this is the place where I want to be, this is where I go now. But I started already, the process started three weeks ago. And this is, you know, like this is, actually this is always what always really motivates me, you know, to keep on going, keep on working and stuff, because it's just a super nice journey. Because you, basically, I have a whole team around me which supports me, you know, with trainer, team, mechanic, physio, chef, everyone who's involved, you know, this is what I like. This is, I mean, for me, this is massive. I love that journey. And that's why I think I'm 20 years already in the business, you know? different things you know different styles and we all are kind of complete each other and uh, we all take something from each other and this um, I believe what makes us so so close I think I entertained people <laughs> during the year um, I think I took a lot of lessons I think the team took a lot of lessons it's a bit more complex than just the um, 90 minutes on racetrack Definitely, when you end the season on a good note, um, it's a different game in the winter. I'm really happy for Maxi, he got his Olympia ticket for Tokyo and uh, also for Abe, he rode like an unbelievable good race and it finished on the overall podium as well and what a season for Canada Mountain. Wow.